Hello guys. This is Becca and Patrick Nolan. Mr. Patrick Nolan. He's Puppy Pal from Paradise Galleries. And he's Mama's baby today. He's Mama's baby today. I started to change him out of his original outfit, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit later because he's just so cute in it. He's just, but I will change him later today because I want to get him changed. And I'll do a video later on with uh, Gabby changing her into another dress for Easter. And uh, then tomorrow will be her last day. For a while, I got me some coffee. Oh, fasten your seatbelts, guys. This may be the shortest rocking with Becca we've ever had. And I laugh when I say that. <laughs> because it's never a short rocking with Becca. I think it's going to be short. And I get to talking and it's not short. <laughs> uh, but, uh... I'm just not feeling well today. Uh, past few days, I haven't felt good. It, it's nothing unusual. It's just fibro uh, decided to flare up. And uh, not only during that time does my pain get worse, but... Uh, But it also, um, Macy, please quit squeaking your toys. Uh, I, I get exhausted. Not only do I have pain, but I get exhausted. Um, I mean, I have pain every day, but when I have a flare-up, it's worse. Uh, years ago, Hubby and I, right after we got married, had an act had her accident. I, I think I've told it. And I said I was going to tell some more life stories. I haven't really thought of anything. I really haven't had an interesting life. Like my sister, Sass, uh, Sassy Granny Vlogs, <clears throat> excuse me, she can come up with some things. And sometimes I wonder if, if she, uh, didn't dream some of them because she asked asked me and mama and charlotte the other day my older sister asked us did we remember a certain incident and um none of us remembered it so sometimes i think she has dreams and thinks they real <laughs> But I didn't have an eventful life to, to have, like, stories to tell about it. There's been a few things, you know, that I've told you so far. Um, told you about my husband scaring me to death one time. And now I can't walk through the house when it's dark. Um, I don't know. And what was I saying about all that? Why was I getting to that? I don't... Oh, I was talking about how short I think Rock and Rebecca's are going to be. And then I end up talking and talking. But, yeah, all the uh, past few days, I've just really been exhausted. I've just... Oh, I was telling you about us. Right here it, on this arm, I was telling you about the accident hubby and I had years ago. With this arm right here and this shoulder blade was broke. My arm was snapped completely in two and the bone was protruding out when we had our accident. And back then they didn't 
they didn't do surgery. I don't know why they didn't do surgery on me to place it back right, but there's a, a knot right there. And naturally it has set up arthritis in it. And, um, you know, with, with fibro, it's a, a, a nerve thing. It works on your nervous system, not your jittery nerves, but your, you know, the nerves running through your body and stuff, which it does work on the jittery nerves too. But I was just saying that to let you know, it's not just like you're nervous about something. It's all of your nerves in your body. And it intensifies any pain that you have that you would normally have, it intensifies that pain as well as having its own pain in places that you wouldn't normally have pain. But the past few days, that that place there in my arm has been hurting so bad that if I try to pick something up with my arm out this way, it's like I don't have the strength and it hurts so bad. Even just doing it like that, it hurts right there where that bone went together, back together. Now, if my arm is against my body, I can pick it up this way without it hurting. But if my arm is out, it, it hurts so bad. And like I said, I'm just exhausted. You probably can tell it by my face expression. I feel like my eyes is all squinchy and squ <laughs> I just don't feel well today. But this is just, you know, the normal me. Now, I don't feel this way every day, but it is, you know, to have these flare-ups and have times of feeling just totally exhausted is a normal part of fibromyalgia. And there's other things that people have that, you know, that... that uh, causes them to feel this exhaustion like this. Um, I, I can't think about the names of them, different things that p people can have that causes them to feel just totally exhausted. And, and it's not an exhaustion that, you know, my husband, he'll work and get tired, you know, and, and he'll just feel just totally exhausted and you know, he can go to bed and he can sleep and get up feeling refreshed, you know. He may not jump out of the bed running, but, you know, he can sleep and get the rest he needs and feel better. Well, the exhaustion with fibro, <laughs> no amount of sleep takes the exhaustion away. No amount of sleep takes the exhaustion the exhaustion away you just have to deal with it until it decides to pass and give you a break <laughs> so that's what I've been in the past few days is this exhaustion feeling and it causes me sometimes to have a, a slight headache or you know uh, upset stomach you know, it's just, it's just one of those flare-ups, and it's just a normal part of having fibromyalgia. But anyway, uh, Mr. Patrick's all excited that he's going to be with Mommy today, and Mommy's excited that he's going to be with Mommy today. And uh, I don't have a shout-out today. Um, I, I'm bad about doing that, not keeping up with, you know, shout outs and picking someone to shout out. I kind of, especially when I'm feeling like this, I just have to take it minute by minute, uh, because I wasn't even sure if I was going to do a Rockin' with Becca today. But so many of you, you know, really enjoy the Rockin' Rebecca's, and it disappoints me to have to disappoint you <laughs> when I don't have them. Um, 
I wonder sometimes why you like them so well. Um, I don't feel like anything I have to say is of any, you know, I've just always been the type of person that I looked down on myself and didn't feel like I I could do anything. And, and I am literally surprised every time I get a comment about how much people like the Rock and Rebecca videos. I, I, because, you know, I can't see myself as being anything and helping anybody or being enjoyable to watch. Um, seriously, every time I get a comment from someone about how much they enjoyed the Rock and Rebecca or any of my videos, but you know, it seems like the Rock and Rebecca uh, videos are elaborated on more in the comments than just the regular videos. Excuse me, guys. This is my third cup of coffee this morning. Like I said, I am totally exhausted. And I have so much I want to do today. So much. And I'm trying to get perked up a little bit. So excuse me for taking sips here and there. But I do, I get surprised. And it's such a delightful surprise. When I read a comment of how much you enjoy the Rockin' Rebecca videos. It just, it means so much to me to get those comments because I can't see myself as being somebody people would like to watch, really. I, I, it, you know, even on just my regular videos, all the comments I get, it's just, it amazes me and it delights me and it surprises me and it's such a wonderful surprise. And I just, I really, I just want to thank y'all so much. Every one of you. I, I, this, I'm just shouting out all of you. I can't name all of your names, but every one of you that watches any of my videos and comments, thank you so much. Because it means the world to me. Um. I'm not going to get off on this as the subject, but as I've mentioned many times, you all are all I have except for my hubby. Well, naturally, God is first, and he comes first, and I talk to him every day, and I read his word every day, and I live my life. To, I try to please him in every way I can. God is first, naturally. And then my husband and then my doggy, and then my dollies. Uh, but other than that, you know, I have grown kids and grandkids, but they're off. They do their own thing. I hardly ever hear from them. I'm not going to get on that subject. I just don't feel like dealing with that today. But, um, you know, you, you're the only communication. Uh, now, my younger sister and I have had a little bit more communication the past little while uh, because I'm doing crafts that she likes to do and I'm doing what she wants to do. If it was turned around, I'm not going to get on that, forget that. Um, anyway, yes, we're, we're communicating a little bit more. But as far as a, a daily basis, you are who I have in my life. You are who I communicate with each day. And you have brought me so much happiness and so much joy and so much delightful surprise. You guys are wonderful. And I thank each and every one of you for every time you comment on my any of my any of my videos I really do appreciate it and uh, I'm just 
I don't know why I was getting off on that. Shout outs. <laughs> Shout out. That's another fibro thing is I like to blame it on something, you know, because I'm not getting old. <laughs> I'm not getting old. It's it's a a health issue. I'm not getting old. <laughs> Not getting old. Oh. So, anyway. <laughs> uh, that's what it was. I was doing a shout out to all of you. <laughs> um, but anyway. I do have a little something that I want to talk about. <laughs> this video is already 15 minutes long. Uh, uh, you might as well pause it and go get you something to drink. It probably ain't going to be a short one. Unless I can exhaust what I want to say in 15 minutes. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Okay. I want to... No, Macy, I'm not through. Go lay back down. Uh... What I want to talk about today is being sentimental. Being sentimental. Um, are you sentimental about your dolls? About your babies? I don't even like to call them dolls. That's how sentimental I am. I don't even like to call them dolls. They're my babies. They're my vinyl or silicone babies, whatever they are. Uh, they're my babies. Just like Macy is my fur baby. She's not a, a human baby, but she's my fur baby. And these, these babies are my vinyl or silicone babies and I don't even like to call them dolls because they're my babies but I get I get sentimental if that's the right word to use uh, that's the word that came to mind that may not even be the right word to use I'm not sure but I get very sentimental about things, um, about my, my babies. Uh, if you watched one of my videos yesterday, I posted about my sister see, sending me the yarn doll that she made, um, pearl patchwork. I am very sentimental about that doll. And I hadn't had it 24 hours yet. But it's just a yarn doll that she made. But when I opened that, if you recall, remember the video, if you watched it, I was talking to, the, you know, talking to Pearl welcoming her, you know, and, and that is just a yarn doll, just a little, probably, it's probably three inches, two, three, four inches, maybe, and, no, it's more than two inches, for sure, might be closer to four or five inches, but anyway, um, I just, I get sentimental over things like that. And <laughs> it, it's really crazy when I think about it. It's like after opening it and, and uh, talking to her and, and, you know, at first I thought, oh no, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do this? But then I wanted to tote her around with me through the house. I didn't because I was busy, but 
I wanted to take her with me where I went, wherever I went. And I get so sentimental about my dolls, my babies, any kind, any of them. Whether they're uh, my um, baby type or my toddlers or my Blythe dolls or my Barbie dolls, my Rainbow High. Oh, those two little dolls that I purchased from... Um, Erica at, over at Little Ohana. Oh my goodness. They're sitting up here on my shelf and I'm looking at them right now. Um, the bigger, the two bigger dolls that I got in that box opening when I shared with y'all. I, I just sit here and I just look at those little dolls and their cute little faces and that's why it's so hard for me. I have to really have my mind made up about my reborns. Now, in the past, I have, on the spur of the moment, sold my Paradise Galleries and, and regretted it. But uh, I pretty much got all of them back that I wanted in my collection. Um, and I don't plan on selling any Paradise Galleries again. Um because I just love them. But I really have to... I really have to think about my Reborns before I sell any of them. And talking about the sentimental part, I have Reborns that I purchased when I first started collecting that I'm sentimental over. Um, I, those will never leave my nursery until I'm gone. Uh, they will never leave my nursery. They're not the, they're not an updated, you know, a, you know, they're older sculpts because I got them way back. I didn't know how to put that, so I had to change it. <laughs> Um, they're not a current new sculpt. They're older sculpts. Uh, they're, most of them don't have hair or, you know, painted or rooted. They're bald. Um, but I'm very sentimental because they were the first ones I bought and... The lady I bought them from, which I've talked about several times, Amy Michelle, um, when she would display, you know, when she put up a doll for sale on the, I bought them off of Facebook. I was in a Facebook group. And when she would post the pictures of her babies, she dressed them so beautifully, and they, and she just, she was a very good photographer. I mean, she posed them in such beautiful ways, and just the way she dressed them, and the way she uh, posed them and all, it just made them look scrumptious. And uh, I've also told you about her probably a year or so ago, passing away with cancer. Um, I'm just sentimental. And then I found her sister on uh, Reborns.com simply because the only way I, f I found her or found out that she was Amy's sister was the way she posted her pictures and her painting and all looked so much like Amy's and just you know I come across her randomly looking through reborns.com and I had messaged her had no clue that it would actually be true but I had messaged her and asked her would she happen to be Amy Michelle? Because at that time, I didn't know Amy uh, had cancer. 
And, uh, excuse me a minute. And I had messaged her and told her about Amy and how I loved Amy's uh, work and how I had uh, three, I think it's three of Amy's dolls that I have, might be four, I can't remember now, three or four of Amy's. And um, when I uh, messaged her that, and ask her would she happen to be Amy Michelle? She texted, she messaged me back through reborns.com and told me that it was funny I mentioned Amy Michelle because Amy was her sister. So, you know, through that I found out Amy had cancer and had been battling it for a few years. And um, then eventually Amy passed away. But I started purchasing from. Uh, and I can't even remember her name now. I could go look it up on Reborns.com, but I can't remember right off who she is. But I, I started purchasing from her because she was Amy's sister. Not just because, but, uh, you know, and because I loved her work. And come to find out, Amy is the one that taught, I think her name is Mary. Um, I can't remember for sure. I'm y'all probably screaming it at me. You probably know better than I do. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, oh my goodness, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I love her work. I loved her work it, just like I did Amy's and. And she, I heard the way she posed her babies and dressed her babies to put them up on Reborns.com. Just, it was so much like Amy. And because of that, even though these are newer dolls, newer sculpts, um, I'm sentimental toward them and probably will never sell them. Um... Then I have babies that people have gifted me or that I have made trades with or purchased from that I'm sentimental because they're, they're good friends. Uh, the people I've purchased them from or that gifted them to me or, you know, however I got them in trades or whatever. Those people are friends and so I'm very sentimental about those those babies and will never get rid of those babies uh, now there's some that there's reborns that I've just purchased randomly or um, you know traded for that not that the person's not a good friend but that's you know, just, it's not someone that I've really communicated with a lot, you know. Um, or it might be one that I just randomly purchased off of Reborns.com that I will feel like, okay, I have not bonded with this baby. I, I really, you know, I want to move it out of the way where I can get something that I am feel like I would bond with better. And... So, but I am very sentimental about things, about my babies, and I, about, you know, how I come across them, or, or who I bought them from, or whatever. You know, I just, are you sentimental like that? Am I just, you know, am I... Just an extra sentimental type person? Or do you feel that way about your babies? Uh, about certain certain babies or, or, you know, who you purchased them from or, you know, whatever. Um, I, 
I just get sentimental over it. And for that reason, I will, there's some that I will never get rid of. Some of my Reborns that I will never get rid of. And I'm thinking I'm pretty much down to where, um, you know, I've put up two babies recently. One has already sold. One is pending. Uh, the Jacelyn sculpt is pen, pending. Um, but I'm, I'm looking around. I'm thinking I am pretty much have, have sold all of the ones that... that I would get rid of. Pretty much have. Um, yeah. Unless it would be Logan. Logan is one that I'm kind of iffy about. He's the Logan Awake uh, kit. Um, he's Logan Michael Brady, and I, I've noticed lately I am bonding a little bit more with him than what I had in the past. Uh, I've put him up several times for adoption, but, um, he never did sell. And I've noticed lately... I'm drawn to him more than what I have been, so I don't know if I would sell him or not, but uh, just for the record, he might end up at some point up for adoption. I don't know for sure, but other than him, I think I have sold all the ones that I would get rid of. I was hoping that I could get down to about 15 Reborns. Yes, guys, I have a lot of babies. I have, I don't remember the exact, 20-something. I think it's 25 authentic Reborns. And I was hoping to get down to 15 to give me more room in my nursery for the Paradise Galleries that I seem to be addicted to. <laughs> but, um, I can't. Uh, like I said, other than possibly Logan, I don't have any other Reborns that I would sell. I've, the, you know, the two that I've just recently put up, and uh, I don't know, I just get sentimental over them. I have tried several times to put Olivia up for adoption. I have tried several times, but she's one of the older ones, you know, that I've got when I first started collecting, and I've always said that she reminded me of my youngest son, and I just can't, I might have put her up when I, when I had, you know, all the babies that I was going to sell out on the couch, and showed them all at one time, um, Guys, those babies have, most of them, uh, I think I had Landon up one time, but uh, I'm, I'm not getting rid of him. He didn't sell at that point, and I'm not getting rid of him. Uh, I just get sentimental, and I can't get rid of them, I, you know. Okay, how long have you been standing there? I didn't even see you. Okay. But anyway, uh, I just like to know if 
if you get sentimental over your babies, and if there's some that you would never, ever, ever get rid of because of sentimental reasons, um, oh, that was my husband had come to the door. He, he was leaving and was telling me he's going to go somewhere. Um, but anyway, you know what? I have pretty much exhausted my subject quicker than I thought I would. It wasn't in 15 minutes. It's been in 20 minutes, but, uh, I pretty much covered everything, and I'd like to hear, you know, I'd like for you to comment and tell me about some babies that are sentimental to you, or do a video. I'd love for you to do a video telling about um, babies that you are sentimental about and would never get rid of, and why you would never get rid of them. Um, I, I really do. I have... I have babies that are really sentimental to me that I would never part with. So, anyway, that pretty much does that subject, and it's a beautiful day, guys. I am beginning to feel a little bit better. I don't know if this third cup of coffee did it. <laughs> which I haven't completed it yet, but I am feeling, I am feeling better. But, you know, that's another thing. You wake up exhausted, you know, like a normal person can go to bed, you know, be really tired and go to bed and go to sleep. And then even if they're not a morning type person that just jumps up if you're running, but, you know, they wake up not as exhausted as they were the night before, you know, and, and they, the sleep refreshes them like it's supposed to. With fibro, it, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> I'm telling you, I felt so bad when I first got up this morning. I felt so bad. And I thought, oh my goodness, if I feel like this all day long, I will not be able to get the things done I want to do. And I have so many craft things I'm wanting to do today and and doll videos I'm wanting to do today. So this probably won't be the only one, only doll video up today because I, want, I need to change um, Gabby into her dress for today and then I'll change her into the final dress for Easter for t in the morning tomorrow and um, have her ready for to go back up on display until it's her time again. But anyway, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to call it done today, guys. And um, thank y'all so much for your support, for your love, your comments. Thank you so much. But Patrick and I are going to go to the craft room and see if we can get some crafting done. So if you like crafting videos, go over to my craft channel and check them out. Uh, the link is in the description of every video. And the link to all of my social media platforms that I'm on are in the description of every video so go check it out if you haven't already if you're new to my channel I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you will come back and uh, watch more I, if you are not subscribed uh, I hope you will hit that subscribe button and the notification bell beside it so you can get all of uh, my video notifications for every video I put up and um, thank you guys so much for being my friends. I love y'all, and I'm going to go for now. Have a great Saturday, a great weekend, a great Easter. Have fun, enjoy your family, and just have a wonderful time. And I will talk with you later. Love y'all. Bye.